hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be taking a little look at my custom solar system so I know you guys wanted um, to have a little um, look at it so we're actually in it right now and you may notice a few different coloured objects and different objects around the asteroid belt and yeah stuff like that so before we get into this video just many many thanks to everyone who has subscribed and left a like and comment recently much much appreciated I know I say it every video but Litchi, I appreciate it so much. You guys are awesome, and yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, consider pressing that subscribe button. No, I'm kidding, but yeah, help us on the way to um, 800 subs if you want, your choice. But anyways, today, let's um, get into this. Why did I say today? Uh, I shouldn't have said that. Oh well. <laughs> so, first of all, you may see in the asteroid belt here, we'll actually add it in just to make it a little more um, realistic here. So let's um, get it right there and add it in. So you can see all of the asteroids now. We'll also go on flashlight mode so we can just see it a little easier. So yeah, there you go. Here is the asteroid belt as you can see here. So we'll also turn off the labels. And you may notice a few, actually we'll keep it on. So you may notice a few extra objects floating around. So we don't just have Ceres and Vesta here. So as uh, Ceres as Vesta. We also have this other object called Pallas here. So it's another um, one of the largest asteroids in the asteroid belt. Or, I know Ceres is classed as a dwarf planet, but yeah, well, it's still an object in the Asher Belt. So it's Pallas. We also got Vesta, that's a large object. And then we got Hygieia, which is also a decently large object for the asteroid belt. So we got that. And then also, we also got the. There it is. Where is it? Um, trying to find it. Oh, yeah. The Mr. Spock asteroid. So I believe this was named after the character from Star Trek. But yeah, I thought I'd add it in because there's actually a whole simulation for it if we go to Solar System, I believe. Yeah, look. Solar System plus Mr. Spock asteroid. So I am um, of the. Um, or I took its orbit from that one. I, I looked at it. I um, took a photo of it so I, could, so I could input the values here. So this is completely accurate. So it takes 5.22 years to go around the sun. And this is um, as far or as accurate I could get it because obviously I copied it from that simulation. There's also a lot of other simulations I actually need to check out and stuff. It'd be pretty cool. So, yeah, there we go. So that's the um, inner part of the solar system done now, the um, asteroid belt and all that stuff. So next up, we obviously have um, Charlinko here. Or Char Charlico, I'm, I can never pronounce that one right. Yeah, but it's, um, I believe this is the only asteroid we know that has a ring system around it. I, I'm pretty sure this is the only one we know. I think it has a ring system, and those rings just disappear. I don't even know where they're gone. But oh well. Yeah, but I believe that has a ring system, which is pretty interesting. Oh, there's a system. Let's just quickly delete that. Let's get rid of it. All right. So and also we've got this one called Chiron here. So. It's not named after the car made by Bugatti either. That's sort of why I added it in, because it's the same name as the Bugatti Chiron, which is a um, car. I actually have a model of it. Cause I, if you don't know, I actually really, really like cars, as well as astronomy and space and stuff. But yeah, astronomy and space is my favourite, so don't worry about that. But yeah, so Chiron, it's actually another like little asteroid rock in between Saturn and Uranus, along with um, Charlinko, or Charlico here. So yeah, I thought I'd um, add it in, because it was actually in... Um, I think it was in solar system non moons 200 kilometers that simulation there I believe it was in so we'll check those simulations out um, after we've um, or after I've um, done this um, like tour I guess so yeah next up we actually have to go all the way past Neptune and go all the way to Eris here because if you don't know or haven't noticed it has a white trail this is because I actually made it a star at one point then I turned it back into a um, a dwarf planet so it kept the white trail so it's a so that is the same sort of color that a white star would have so for instance if we get let's say oh actually I can just go to my custom object the white dwarf here this white dwarf look that also has a white ring so yeah I literally just turned this into a star and turned it back to a plat or a, um, a rocky um, planet or moon or whatever you want to call it a dwarf planet so I turned it back into one of those and it still has the white color around it to this day so would you call it a glitched object? I guess I sort of did it glitched. I don't know. Yeah, would you call that a glitched object? I don't even know. But yeah. So yeah, there's Iris. So I've got that as a nice custom trail. And I have it as a custom white texture as well. A very like snow-like icy sort of world. Looking looking pretty cool. So um, next up, I believe, yeah, I've got um, Orcus here. I've actually gave this a custom sort of look as well. Because if you don't know, I believe this is also known as the anti-Pluto. And, and the reason that is because if we just go back to the... Um, where is it? If we just go back to the orbits here, it's always on the other side of the sun to Pluto. Is. So Pluto's over here, but Orcus is over here, and they'll pretty much always be on opposite sides because they're, I believe, their years are very similar. Or um, yeah, so 248 and Pluto is 249. So these guys are literally always going to be opposite side of the sun, 
uh, but it will take a very very long time for them to actually get on the same side as each other so yeah pretty cool um one so that's why i thought i'd give it a unique texture or a texture i say so i thought i would give it a like a brownish sort of color since pluto sort of is like a browny creamy sort of color so i thought i'd um sort of have it as an anti pluto looking a bit little similar to pluto so yeah there we go next up i believe we have um humea here i gave that a bit of a custom like green sort of look it's it's weird i don't know i just gave him a bunch of random ones but the one the other one i want to go to is make make or make maki i believe the americans call it i don't know I'm not American, so I just call it Make Make, but I believe some people call it Make Make, but I won't argue, so yeah, I don't really mind what you call it, but yeah, so I gave this more of like a bluish white texture, so yeah, that's that. And then next up, you probably would have noticed them um, from my old simulation, because yeah, this is a whole new custom simulation I made in the latest version of the game, but I actually have um, still have my custom Sedna in here, so yeah, this Sedna isn't a randomly generated one, I actually made this myself. So I gave it custom colours. See, it's more of a red and black colour, but if you get a, um, let's get a normal Sedna in here, for instance. So, yeah, the normal Sedna, see, as you can see, it's exactly the same size, I believe. Okay, my one's slightly bigger, I might need to alter that. But yeah, this one's got horrible, like, white bits all over it, and the red and the black, the red's a slightly darker colour. So I, I don't like that. So I made mine a little more red, as it's meant to be known as. So I'm pretty sure we think Sedna is a red, sort of Mars-like coloured object. So yeah, I made it pretty much all red with a bit of like black on it just to really add to that like dark effect I guess. I, I don't even know to be honest. <laughs> so yeah, and obviously if you don't know, Sedna is always in complete darkness. And then last of all, we've got my favourite custom object which is Planet Nine. So if you don't know about this then I don't know where you've been, unless you're, this is the first video of mine you've seen, but yeah, this is my custom Planet Nine and it is just a beauty. Like <laughs> This was a randomly generated object from the Planet Nine simulation here. Um, yeah, Planet Nine, our solar system, because, um, where was it, yeah, when they first added this simulation, every time you open this simulation, it spawned a random coloured Planet Nine, but I, I was lucky enough to get this random, completely blue Planet Nine, because it's very, very rare for a random gas giant to be, be all the same colour, so I've got a few of, um, a few ones in different colours, so I've got a, a brownish sort of one, I believe I have an orange one as well, there's an orange one there. So I have loads of different coloured objects, they're all the same colour, they're very very rare, but they don't seem to spawn anymore, so I'm glad I've got this, because this is unique, I'm pretty sure I'm like the only guy who owns Universe Sandbox to have this coloured object, I, I don't even know, I've never seen any other video with a random gas giant all the same colour like this, so it's pretty awesome, yeah, that's my unique object, never ever delete it, and also, if you don't see as well, Planet Nine Sedna's objects, or like Iris's one, they were once stars, which I turned back to planets. So Planet Nine was obviously a blue star, say like, um, where is it, like Rigel, for instance. So, yeah, you can see here. I don't know why it's not a blue orbit right now. Let's try one of these guys. Yeah, see, these should be blue, but I don't know where they're not. Let's just try, yeah, this one here. This is a um, pulsar called Hulse. Yeah, this one is a blue object, and it has the same color trail as Planet Nine. So, like I did with the previous ones, just turned it into Planet a star and then turn it back to the gas giant again then same with Sedna turned it into a red star um, or a cold star and then just turn it back into Sedna or into the dwarf planet again and it was a nice awesome red color like, I really like it honestly it's awesome yeah so there we go for my custom simulation guys hopefully you all enjoy because it's pretty awesome stuff I and mean, if you obviously if you want a quick comparison as well so all of the objects together so we've got Jupiter Saturn Neptune and Uranus actually let's put it in radius Okay, Neptune shouldn't be larger than Uranus, I think that's just a saving bug. Sometimes when you save, the objects get slightly smaller, which is kind of annoying. Yes, we've got Neptune, Uranus, Planet Nine as well, just slightly smaller than those two. We've got Earth here, we've also got Venus, I believe Venus should have its texture below as well. Yep, there you go. We've also got Mars, looking good. We've got Mercury with that awesome new texture, I'm starting to like it a little more now. Then we've got Iris here, which is... Um, yeah, Pluto is glitched in size. It shouldn't be like that. When you save simulations with Pluto, it always gets smaller. So, yeah, sadly, I can't really do much about that. But, yeah, Pluto should be a little bigger than Iris there. Then we've got all of these dwarf planets as well, which probably aren't the right size because, like I said, when you save simulations sometimes, the objects get smaller. So Pluto is definitely a prime suspect. We've also got Uranus because that should be bigger than Neptune, but it isn't for some reason. So, yeah, because Pluto should be about... Um, where is it here? Uh, Pluto? Yeah, Pluto should be... Dang it, we can't see it. Alright, let's just quickly go out of this mode quickly and then go back to Pluto. So, 
Pluto should be this large. You can see it right there, but whenever you save a simulation, it gets smaller. It's so annoying, but you can't really do much about it, sadly. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. But like I said, hopefully you guys all enjoyed this, like, tour of my custom simulations. I know you guys, um, or some of you guys definitely wanted to see it. So, yeah, there you go. And this is pretty much what I always start my videos in, do my custom solar systems in, because it's, it's just awesome. I love having the, said them in the Planet 9 custom colours. And then the Eris as well there. It's just awesome. And also, um... Charlinko here. That was a, that was a star at one point, as you can tell by the orange trail. Yeah, so pretty cool stuff. But yeah, hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video. Make sure if you did, leave a like, subscribe for more. And actually, um, I don't know. I don't need to say anything else. Actually, I was gonna I was gonna mention um, this simulation here, but I'll I'll do a video on that because I think it's big or oh, good enough for a video. So yeah, stay tuned for that. But yeah, so hopefully you guys all enjoyed. Like I said, make sure we have good. Why do I repeat the same things? I'm so bad at outros, guys. I'm sorry. I, I still need more practice. But yeah. Um, that's that, so um, I'll see you guys in the next video, goodbye.